Today, I'm going to be talking about another great question I get about diastasis recti is, is doming bad? So this is also known as coning, and it occurs in your abdomen when you might be doing some core exercises. And the truth is, not all doming is bad. So if you heard from your trainer or your doctor or a friend of yours, you know, as you're starting to strengthen your core, that if you see any doming or coning and it's not good, um, it's good to kind of reflect on this question and yeah, just watch this presentation to see and just learn why not all doming is bad and that you can still exercise or modify your exercise to reduce the amount of doming. So doming occurs in um, people who have diastasis recti, and diastasis recti is really common in pregnant and postpartum individuals. So in this um, diagram here, we have the front view of the abdominal wall, you have the belly button here, the two rectus abdominis muscles, also known as, known as your six pack, but it's actually an eight pack because you have four individual muscles on each side. And then this tissue in gray is the linea alba, and that is connective tissue that connects those two abdominal muscles um, together. So during this time, um, as the abdominal wall stretches out, the connective tissue uh, stretches out during pregnancy, the linea alba here, this tissue becomes very thinned out. So it gets thinned, it's stretched out, um, and this is where doming is often seen is along this linea alba. So if you look at this picture, um, you can see that this is the belly button here and you see this little dome or like a cone. So this is what um, people, when they might be doing a sit up or a crunch and they see this little dome, they might freak out and stop doing their core exercises. And the truth is, um, is that not all doming is bad. So what is doming? So the reason why doming is very common in pregnant and postpartum individuals is because their connective tissue is very thinned out. So when we're doing pressurized activities like sit-ups and crunches, that creates pressure on our abdominal wall and the pressure kind of presses out into our tissues and it will be most obvious in um, the thinnest part of your um, abdominal wall. So in typically, in most cases, the linea alba is the thinnest part of the abdominal wall. So we tend to see that dome. Um, the reason why we might not see doming as much in um, like non-pregnant individuals is because the tissue is not thinned out as much. Um, you can also think about um, the linea alba as being the thinnest or the weakest part of the abdominals just because the tissue is thinned out. It's overly stretched and it's not... Um, like thick enough to handle the internal pressure of the abdominals, um, of the abdominal cavity produced by, for example, a sit-up. So this picture shows that doming occurs in the linea alba. You may also see bulging, which is when the entire abdominal wall starts to bulge outwards. There are varying, various degrees of doming and bulging. So you can have a little bit of bulging or a lot. You can also have doming and bulging at the same time. So in this scenario, we see both. Again, a little bulge and then the dome occurring at the linea alba. Um, not all doming is the same. So you may have a little bit of doming. You can have a lot of doming. You can have soft doming. So let's say I were to put my fingers and kind of sink my fingers and poke on this dome. It could be kind of a soft bounce or it could be firm. So not only are there different amounts of doming, but the texture of the dome can be varying from soft and squishy to more of a firm, um, taut feeling. And this is important to know because again, not all doming is the same. So you could still do exercises if you have a dome. It just depends on what the dome looks like. So again, not all doming is bad. Um, if you are doing a crunch and you kind of, 
you know, just feel that dome. If you feel that the dome is more soft, it's totally okay to do the exercise because um, that amount of pressure is not pushing too much on the tissue that that tissue is on full tension or tautness. Versus if you, you know, kind of palpate and feel the dome and it's more firm, I mean, the tissue feels very taut in like the tissue that end range, then that might be a too much of a challenging exercise for you. So you wanna consider, is the dome soft or is it firm? If it's firm, then that might mean, that might kind of tell me we might have to modify the exercise or decrease the amount of time you're spending in that dome position of the exercise so it's not too much tension or strenuous on the tissues. So now that you know that not all doming is bad, it's important to know that if you do happen to feel a firm dome or um, just that strain in the abdominal wall that you can modify your exercises. So some tips are, like I mentioned before, is decrease the amount of time spent in that position where there's a dome. So let's say you're laying on your back and doing like a dead bug and you're starting to see that dome. You could do that exercise, but maybe don't extend your leg as far out in front of you so that you're keeping your legs closer to your center of mass. You can also decrease the range of motion. So again, very similarly, don't strain out your leg as far or don't bring your arm over your head as much. Another tip is to add overflow. So mean, meaning um, contracting additional muscles other than the core to help, um, help you manage the pressure better. So if you're doing a core exercise, maybe you might add in a little bit of inner thigh activation or pelvic floor strength, pelvic floor activation. Uh, or you might engage your lats when you're doing an exercise. So you can add different muscles in addition to your core activation to improve um, the dome or decrease the amount of doming that you see. And then the last thing is change position. So let's say you are doing an exercise that's sitting versus standing. So oftentimes you'll see more doming and standing because it's a more challenging position for the body. So if you're seeing some doming and standing with just you know a very basic abdominal contraction, you might want to ease up the position and try sitting instead. So these are just different ways to modify your exercises. So again, if you're experiencing doming, um, this does not mean stop exercise and don't do anything. It just means, you know, Take a look at what's happening, feel the dome. Is it firm? Is it soft? Um, and just modify the exercise with some of these tips I've given you. So again, if you have any questions, please feel to reach out. It's important that with diastasis recti that you're getting good um, you know, guidelines and tips and cues just to help manage pressure well and to do the exercises correctly to have an optimal recovery with diastasis. Uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I do post a lot of videos on diastasis recti. It's something that I'm uh, very passionate about um, and honestly one of my favorite diagnoses to treat.